December 27, 2015, the day that I flew to Paris. Well, I didn't actually fly to Paris. Do I look like a bird to you? Okay, so, anyways, I had never been on a plane before, ever in my life. I mean, unless you count the plane ride at Disneyland, but that doesn't really count, so it's not an actual plane. So, one thing that I was really afraid of was, I don't really understand how planes, you know, fly. I don't really understand physics, I never took it in high school, and I slightly know gravity and what it does, but I'm a political science major, not a regular biology or whatever science majors there are. So, the night before um, the plane ride, my mom had told me, Tiffany, don't sleep. If you sleep now, then you won't be able to get any sleep while you're on the plane. So I was like, okay, mom, you know what, you know everything. You're completely right. I said it with like a sarcastic tone, you know, not wanting to, my mom to hit me or anything since I'm being sarcastic with her. But, so, that was the worst decision that I've ever made in my life probably because when I got on the plane, I could not sleep at all. The complete plane ride, I was wide awake. And did I mention that it was a 16 hour plane ride? Yep, 16 hours, I was wide awake. I tried taking sleeping pills, Z-Clo, um, watching a really boring movie, and then listening to Lana Del Rey. She's a very beautiful voice, but it's very, she doesn't you know, do a lot of things. So none of that worked, and it was kind of hard to sleep since my, the person that was sitting next to me, she wasn't directly next to me, there was a seat in between us, but she lifted the thing, the armrest, and she just leaned and flopped on me and was like breathing in my ear the whole time and was snoring. <laughs> really annoying, she sounded like a bulldog and it was just, I couldn't. And I watched as everyone was asleep and like, it was dark outside and then the flight attendants were walking around and I was the only one awake besides the flight attendants and the pilots. So, during the 16 hours, I had to do what everyone else in the world has to do. I had to use the restroom. Now, it was um, you know, the time of the month. So, when I went to the restroom, it was, it took, I took a little longer than I should have, you know, did my womanly things. And then when I came out, I noticed that the guy that had initially, like, let me cut in front of him because there was, like, two long lines. I don't know, it was weird. Everyone had to use the restroom at that time. And, he was still standing there, and he looked at me, and he had like a smirk on his face, and his eyes, like I looked into his eyes, and he, it's like, he knew, but he didn't actually know, and I wanted to cry, and I wanted to say no, it was all a misunderstanding, I didn't actually go, I was just, you know, doing womanly things, and, you know, I was, I was probably as red as the hard eyes I had given him before, but I just walked away, like really embarrassed, and just sat in my chair, and you know, tried to forget it. And that wasn't the last time I saw him. It was on the plane ride back. So, the plane ride, going to Paris, it was fine. It was, you know, I, I didn't have any other uneventful things. But then on the plane ride back um, to California, okay, the night before I had eaten on the Eiffel Tower and I had about four glasses of wine and three glasses of champagne and a couple oysters. And you know, that's not a really good combination, especially for someone who's never like gotten drunk before so I was really hungover when I was on the plane and you know it was fine for the first few hours but it didn't really kick in until we were actually landing and I just felt it in my stomach it was churning like churning butter like really slow and it was very it happened in slow motion and like my eyes widened and I gasped like I was in a Spanish soap opera you know like the <gasps> But anyways, um, that happened, and I was looking everywhere frantically for a barf bag, but there wasn't. And, you know, it was just my luck. And I looked up at the flight attendant, and she was just staring at me, and I was like, I need a barf bag. And then everyone had already woken up by then. And then I grabbed um, the barf bag that she had thrown at me, and I was like, a couple seconds later, it just happened. And the guy that I was talking about earlier, the really cute one, he was sitting four seats down from me, so he watched the whole entire thing. <laughs> and I was holding the bag when we landed, and then like as soon as we were free to get up, he got up and he told everyone that I knew that I had barfed, because we were on a school trip. And so, yeah, that was kind of the worst two days of my life. And it was very embarrassing, I couldn't really look him in the eyes ever after that. So, thank you. Thank you.